Hello, Monsters of Anakin. Welcome back to Total War Warhammer 3. In part 3 of my village campaign, where... We're attacking the Bastion from the other side. Got around, haven't we? Weren't surprised. Weren't expecting that, were they? A little bit of surprise. Ooh. Will this battle desync? I genuinely don't know. I should be watching the desync folder, really, but I can't be bothered to get to it now because it would mean going through the file structure and, gonna be honest, can't be bothered. So we've made some gaps in some walls. That's a bonus. We're also using our flying units to go and hunt down the peasant archers. We have another breach prepping over here. Just as soon as these guys reach the wall, we will blow it up. Perfect. Huh. Lag. Meanwhile, we are mopping up any archers. We, any peasant archers are getting nommed. We're trying to batter our way through the breaches in the walls with our chaos spawn. And Marauders and Chaos Warriors. Running some fire down on their heads there. I really like this. Infernal Gate is such a good spell. It does... This, this is just the... This isn't even the overcast version. This is a single cast. As you can see, it did so much damage. Just so good. Such a good spell. Expensive, but well worth it. The Doom Knight's doing good work. Do have that uh, 32 armor piercing. It's not bad. 51 melee attack. And of course, flying around on their discs. They are super duper fast. A bit worried about the Screamers, who, if they get pinned down can get sad and die of sadness. I'm sure they'll be fine. Village is trying to smash his way through the gates. Well, Tommen is trying to attack, smash his way through the gate. Village is just chilling. And we're going to hit him with a... whatever the fuck this spell's called. I can't remember. Warp fire, fire something or other. Either way, it's making a lot of jam and I'm loving it. That's a lot of deads. That's a lot of dead guys being penned in this little corner here. Absolutely devastating as the, as the three little AoEs just bounce around. Holy shit, that is so many dead guys. Village, how many guys have you killed? 570. It's all right, isn't it? It's all right. It's caused a bit of panic there, understandably. Forces of Cathay, we bit surrounded. We're getting... Jeez, there's so many dead guys here. Just littering the ground. Thanks to that infernal gate, we managed to batter our way through this breach. And our forces can now move to intercept an attack from behind. Throwing off the Cathians' formation, which is one of their biggest strengths. Running down their archers as well. Make sure we take them out because they can do a lot of damage to us. So the more of them that are dead, the better. It's a lot of dead guys here. I know they're trying to fight their way out of this encirclement. You know what? So far, I think this is actually fine. I don't think it's decent. Famous last words. The Chaos Spawn having a lovely time there. It's jam o'clock. Little bursts of flavour. Great stuff. It's a nice thing about peasants. They are so squishy. And so... They're like... Water balloons filled with jam. So jam balloons. A lot like water balloons, but stickier. 
a bit more heft to them. Hit someone in the face with a jam balloon, they know about it. Managed to get the pink horrors up on the wall there so they can spray liberally. Just generally, I guess. It's fine, it works. Just sort of a mop-up operation now as we have well and truly broken into the city. And we're just mopping up any disparate little units that have managed to rally themselves and return to the fights. Considering this said valiant defeat, I'm pretty I'm pretty pleased with our progress. Pretty happy with that. And you know what? So far, we haven't actually lost anyone. I think this has these things. I don't think the Doom Knight took that much damage. I could be wrong. We didn't lose anyone anyway, which is the main thing. So that's nice. Come on, we didn't even lose a single unit. Whether that battle desynced, I don't know. Do I subjugate? Oh, go on then. It's subjugate them. I mean, it'll make everyone hate my guts. So it's probably a terrible idea. But at least I've got someone holding a gate that can actually build defences. So that's a win. Exactly. Um, let's get the Pawns of Fortune. Tommen like that. And... Let's cool down for spells. And we'll get metal shifting as well. Fantastic stuff. Right, we know we've got a little a little thing under there. I'm not too concerned about that. At the current time. The right, the Volary does need defenses. I'm tempted to send a cold over there to deal with that. Um, at the moment, we actually don't we don't war with anyone. Holy shit, we're not. Holy crap. I mean, that never happens. <laughs> I'm always at war with someone. Oh, it feels weird. I don't like it. Uh, we don't have any money, so we just have to carry on. Not worry about it. Not stress. Um, Good. Good for me. Good for me. Pat on the back. I'm going to get... Ooh. Upgrades gift Whirling Destruction. No defense per experience rank for spear and halberd infantry units. Charge defense for those above. Um... You know what? I'm going to get Enchanted Idols. My research is complete. That's nice. What happened to Zartan? Did he die? What's this? Fatigued, unstable warp fire, piercing spines, rat mother. What the fuck? Insane, horrific, hor horrific? Horrific rebirth. Well, that's fun. I think we need to deal with the... Gaven. I don't trust them. Also, you have but a heart holy sh- hang on, 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 I probably need to off these guys as well. The dragons require your immediate demise. If I do that, why is that treachery? I really need to kill them. I can't leave them alive. They're going to piss everyone off. Why did I vassalize them? I felt like it was... I just like vassalizing people. It's a terrible idea, though, because... Vassalizing people who hate each other just tends to make everyone else hate your guts as well. It's very exhausting. Okay, we'll upgrade or not. Don't have the money. Poor. I'm poor. Oh, 
the Champions Arena, more character. I, you know what? Unit experience, actually, probably better. Talking of that, of I am... Mm, what to do? What to do? I think we need to kill these rats. The we need to kill the rats. I just need to work out... Oh, you're actually... That's actually improving. That could work out. Um... You bore me, me. Four no more fun. turns. I just need four more turns. I mean, I probably don't have to worry about it, but I do think ruining your reputation does tend to make more factions declare war on you. Which... can be awkward. And it can take quite a while to fix that. I don't think it'll take... If, if we do it a couple of turns early, it probably won't matter. Probably. Mm, Great Orthodoxy is dead. It's quite early for them to die. Okay, we'll deal with you next turn. Again, my main issue here... It, right, if I right here's, if I can take this, and I can, I know I can, then we can... You know what I would like is, like, more flamers. Enables warp fire attacks for all units with a mark of zinch. I'm going to take it. Does that mean all you guys get what? Yeah, you all get warp fire. I don't mean, what does warp fire? Weakness to fire and less armor. I mean, I I'll take it. As I'm going to get rid of them. Portal. At this point, I'm losing... Well, I'm not losing money. I'm not making enough money to actually upgrade anything. So, like, once this... I need I need 6,000 to upgrade that one, once that's finished. And I could upgrade that one, but I need 2,500. And then I could upgrade my money. But basically, I need more money. That's what I need. I need more money. And I also need my vassals to be bigger -er. I'm not I'm not going to upgrade you just yet. Mm, yay me. Okay, I think we're probably oh, fine. Rabbits. Right. Oh look, it's Skaven. What a surprise. What a shock. Yeah, okay, I know, I know. Yeah, I'm going to Clever. Okay, that's not too bad. That could have been worse. Is this going to be a fucking... Oh, it's not a settlement battle. Thank God for that. Oh, the relief. The relief, I feel. Um, eeny, meeny, miny. Oh, it doesn't really matter to you, I guess. Well... I'm not sure what their mechanics are, but for some reason they have a buttload of, like, random mutations. Loner. Insane. Withered arm. This Skaven only has one arm left working after mutation decayed the other. That's fun. It's weird, isn't it? Interesting. Well. I guess they're, like, super molder? Super weird mutations, but you never know what you're going to get. Fatigued, so they just get tired all the time, but they've also got devastating flanker. And when they die, Skaven erupt out of them. They're also unstable warp fire. Interesting. So we've got our flies hanging around behind, then we've got uh We've got the Waste Lord, who to be honest, looks great. Love him. Flamers on the flank, lighting up. Any ratties they can spot? Although I think potentially... Yeah, they're kind of behind a hill, which is not the best place for them, but... Never mind. They're doing their best. Morbid Angel Death Metal currently has a lot of guys surrounding him. Well, he currently had a lot of guys surrounding him because they're all about to get sucked off. Yep. 
they, 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 they gonna die. They gonna die. Flame is continuing to try and protect our flank, and it seems to be working well. The Skaven do not want to come anywhere near them. I mean, kind of understandable, really. Are you throwing fireballs at my flamers? No, at my at my spawn. Oh, that does kind of make more sense. I kind of need to move them in to take out these Skaven slave slingers. Who? Oh, these guys. Hang on. These guys have got mutations. Well, they've got frightful. And what's this one? Mind organ. Okay, bit weird. I don't want to know what that is. It's, yep, good. Um, Waste Lord Vicus Borkis is currently lumbering into combat with Village. However, Village has yeah is is definitely beefier than the Waste Lord, in spite of the fact the Waste Lord is a big boy. So while they're going toe to toe, it does seem like Village has the upper hand there. Uh, not to mention the fact he's got he's surrounded by friends who are helping him out. Kale Spawn mopping up any flankers and the warp fire. Ah, oh, sorry, the the flamers. I keep calling wanted to call them warp fire throwers. No, the flamers also just ripping their way through anyone they can spot. Although they've also managed to blow through a lot of their ammunition. Still, 172 kills is very respectable. Not bad. And to be honest, I just I just love watching them light things up. It's very satisfying. The Waste Lord's about to get wasted. He is not having a good time. And Village has taken some damage. But not an awful lot in comparison. This is not going well for him. And we've got the Severed Claw there just in case. We do need backup, but it looks like Village has got this. Are you going to run away? Oh, you're unbreakable. Okay, well, just just have to do this the hard way then. Get him, Village. Nicely done. And with the death of their boss, the army flees. Right. Don't know. Oh, I could subjugate them. Ooh. I do kind of like his vibe. Oh, you know what? Go on, then. You come willingly. Go on, then, you cheeky monkey. Now, let's have a look at you. All Hello. Speak, right, look. Speak before an envoy this is going to piss off a whole bunch of people, but fuck them. Give me some cash. Good, good. You can have that one. You can also have the Fortress of Eyes. Yes, master. And Black you can me. have. I know you've got a, an undercity orbs. below there, but you, I, you really want to give. You really want me to give you Dragon Gate, so okay. Yes, so. There you go. Do you say something about wiggly jiggly? I don't, don't, Finish just don't, just don't. Anyway. Okay, this is looking better. I think now, hmm, currently... I'm... Let's look at the victory conditions. So, the Challenge Stone, Azerbaijan, and the Withering Fortress. Kill the war host of the Apocalypse, and we get the Three-Eyed King Approaches. So that's an option. I think we should maybe go for that now. Because we could potentially like subjugate Kolek and stuff. So I think we're going to do that. 
so we're going to book it in this direction. And we're also going to upgrade some lads. Wait. I thought it was... Oh, yeah, there we go. There we go. Uh, we're going to get the halbods. And you. There we go. There we go. I, I kind of want to go for that. I mean, I, I'm saying we just go with halbods. Just go hard for halbods, you know? That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm saying. That's my take on it. Uh, right, we'll grab this. Mine or mine. You are just going to chill here for a minute. We did make some money so I can do some upgrades. Huzzah. Upgrade you. Oh, it's all coming together now. And we've made a little ratty friends. So that's fun. I mean, yes, this will piss Zartan off something chronic, but I'm I was always gonna kill him anyway, so you know, realistically does that bother me all that much? Not really. I think we I can I, you know that's you know what that's something I can live with. The great sorcerer himself summons us to his realm. We have been trusted with a task that will bring us much favor. <laughs> okay, yeah, thank thank you. Your manic laughter is like grating my ears with a cheese grater. Magic and misrule are mine. What's this? Oh, you want me to kill some Empire guys. Alright, well, I'll I'll mull that over. I'm mulling. Don't worry. I'm gonna mull that hard. Oh, look at you with your two guys. Lovely. Right, so we're going to move Akold over to the Volary. We know that Zartan... Oh, there's Zartan. Oh, look at that. He's actually recruited some hobgoblins rather than just an entire stack of interns. Is he learning? Maybe. Unlocks the bonus research rate effect for Dark Fortress military buildings. Oh, knowledge is mine. The fuck is that? This one? Uh, no, that's that one. Uh, no. It says military buildings. I have no idea. Oh, this one actually increases money, doesn't it? Um, that is tempting. However, I would like an exalted hero. Hmm. 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 Okay. Fuck it. Actually, wait, can I... When can I upgrade this? How much do I need? Six grand. I wouldn't really have the money for that, would I? Fuck it. Just, I'm just going to stick to my guns. Stick to my guns. How many souls have we got? 4,000, which is okay. I mean, that's... We're okay for about 20 turns with that. I can, I can live with that. I see him doing well for themselves. Look at that. Oh, they're doing it. What have you what have you got? Don't don't drop a plague on me, please. Don't know if I could, know if I could live with a with a plague. Right, you if I declare war on you, then I can catch you with your little dwarven pants down. So I'm going to murder you. Maybe I should have done it when I had the chance, but I'm going to do it now. Well, he's learned this time. He hasn't brought just an entire stack of interns. However, he's made another error, which is he's brought an entire, well, almost an entire stack of missile units without anyone to protect them. This is a problem for him. Zartan's not doing very well, is he? A little bit of archer fire there, trying to bring down Morbid Angel, but doing limited damage. And then the Marauders move in to absolutely annihilate these Hobgoblin Sneaky Gits. 
And then the hobgoblin archers. I mean, the, you know, they, they, need, they need to be able to do their thing, which is shoot arrows. But even then, they don't have enough armor piercing to do enough damage to our heavily armored chaos warriors to even actually be able to stop this army is not going to win it's barely going to do any damage to us we've overrun them almost immediately i'm dropping an infernal gate mostly just for shits and giggles not actually required Meanwhile, Zartan seems to be trying to go for Village, but once again, this seems to be a reoccurring issue. They look at Village, and they just see the bomb worm, don't they? They don't see the massive hulking chaos monstrosity that it's currently lodged up the backside of. So, th this, this is going to be a problem for them. They think they can take him on. They can't. That is not... He's not doing very well. Although I should say that Zartan is actually a very nasty melee customer. He he is uh, probably one of the strongest melee lords. However, unsupported like this and taking fire from every direction, he's not going to do very well. There we go. He's starting to waver. The rest of his army is running for the hills. And uh, because this army was marching, they're all dead anyway. Right, slapped him down. I'm going to take his soul. And then we're going to meander in this direction. Now, this will obviously annoy Kolek. But I'm planning to make sure Kolek doesn't... Oh, good. Then we need granite spikes, which is... Oh, well, we're heading there anyway. Oh, it's all coming together, isn't it? Fantastic stuff. Right, so we just need to keep heading in that direction. I'm hoping that Cathay's going to have more things to worry about, or at least it'll keep them busy. The Basically, I would just like them to be a little bit too busy to worry about me for the fall. moment. Um, do I want Twist of Fate? We don't really have that many. Well, that's not true. I do have Spawn, don't I? So if I get that, then Spawn are half the price. That means I save twice as much. Don't don't think about it. Uh, do I do I do that? I'm going to do this one. I serve the wind lord. I know you do, mate. What's your path to glory? Uh end your turn with less than 30. Okay, less. Winds of magic power is a plus 2 per turn though. That's quite nice. What's your wins of magic at the moment? All right, well, it's going down, so actually that's going to be pretty easy for you to get. Uh, win a battle with another spellcaster in your army, pretty easy. Win a battle against any demon race, slightly harder because there's no demons. No, well, that's not necessarily true. There is uh, the Maggot Rot faction, I think, over there. But I don't really know there's another demonic faction nearby, so... Hmm. Agent of Chaos. Feels like some of these were made for Realm of Chaos, doesn't it? I'm sure that Creative Assembly wouldn't wouldn't create a mechanic purely for a one-game system that barely anyone plays. I'm sure that wouldn't happen. It's just very unlikely. Mm-hmm. Good. Well, apart from heading towards... I mean, we could bring out a cold as well to help out. Get them both in there. Oh, you can upgrade as well, can't you? There you go. Lovely stuff. Okay, good. Beastmen are dead. That's also good. I do quite like Beastmen, but there is that slight issue... Well, they do tend to just turn up and uh, ruin my day. Okay. Cena's a cold can reach this. We will do that. Forbidden Rod, lovely. That's really nice. Do I subjugate 
Zartan, oh, I did do this last time and it didn't go very well. I might just raise him. Do I sack him? I could, I could use the cash. I could use the souls. Oh, fuck it. He just, he just recruited a bunch of interns and didn't do anything. Last time I tried to subjugate him, so I feel like just, just getting rid of him, to be honest. Probably, probably for the best. Little mind wipe. You know what, I do, I do keep forgetting I've got changing of the ways. Someone's going to accuse me of forgetting that I've got teleport stance, which I haven't forgotten. It's just not actually that useful at the moment. <laughs> What we could do, potentially, assuming that you've only got one settlement, you do. If we can catch Kolek and exterminate him, and we can subjugate Kolek instead. Because although he does have a, a Dark Fortress, we've currently got three under our belt, so I'm kind of okay just subjugating him. I think. So we can get the extra cash, that'll be useful because then we can get the extra cash for the other fortresses that we're currently trying to build up. Um, I'm going to build this, because that's going to give us more money. Lovely. Okay, good. If I knew what that was. Oh, a talisman of preservation is actually pretty nice. We can... Actually, we've got a lot of... Hang on, let me turn this... I've got this lamp on, which is fine but it does kind of blind the screen in that exact area where I want to sort of try and merge stuff together. Uh, right, we'll merge those bits together as well. Uh, that's fine. Scroll of Am... I mean, the problem is the Forbidden Rod's too good not to take. It's such a good item. Give you the Talisman of Preservation. We've got the Talisman of Endurance there. We'll give that to you. Uh, would you like a Dawnstone? Yes, indeed. And the other trickster shard is... You know what? Sure. Sure. Now... They think of me as a rat. I'll show them. Exactly. Um, spell... Now, re reduce spell resistance. It doesn't go negative. The only, the only resistance that goes negative, apparently, is fire. Spell resistance doesn't. According to... Devs, apparently. That's where I've heard that from. Right, we've got we've got granite spikes. We need a shaman's temple. Where the fuck that is? I'm assuming it's probably like one of these shaman's temple. There we go. That's what we need. So we need a, we need a second. No, I'm gonna build that anyway. So that kind of makes sense. Also, do we have the? Oh, we do. Excellent. Right. So we could have. We need summoning rights. Exalted hero Zinch. I want to get one of them. What's the what's the text summoning rights? Oh, that one right there. Okay, let's do that oh, one. Is mine. Let's do that. I don't really want this, but I've got it now. We're gonna move in. We're gonna we're gonna beat up Kolek, rough him up, get him on side. But that is gonna have to wait until next time. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.